我和妈妈做两。So we need one cup of the sweet potato starch. Whoa. Very, very powdery. Like that. And, whew, got lots of powder. <laughs> At least we know it's got the good starch. And then you add two cups of water. So I'm using warm water, and then you mix it with your chopsticks. Mix, 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 mix. And it might clump together a little bit, so you're just gonna try your best to get it all to dissolve. Teaspoon of salt to give it some flavor. Again, mix, mix, mix. All right, so the next thing you do is you use a strainer like this, like a metal one, and you pour it into a pot so that you get rid of any of the clumps that you didn't mix together well. And you just kind of let it drain. And then you pour four cups of water in here. So I'm gonna go and get some water while that drains. So I'm just gonna pour the water in here to help let it go down a bit more. So in the meantime, I'm gonna turn on the stove. Probably move the salt away so it doesn't melt. So now we have four cups of water in there and you'll see this is what's left. Okay, so now you just let it boil and you're supposed to stir it as well. Maybe with a wooden spoon. So you're gonna keep stirring until it clarifies a bit more, but it definitely takes a lot of elbow grease to do that. This is looking a lot like glue now. I wonder if we can make slime with this. So you're gonna wait for it to bubble, and that's how you know it's cooked. That's what it looks like. So now you see it's bubbling, so that means it's cooked and you just need to stir it a little bit longer until it almost completely clarifies. So right now you'll see it's still a little bit cloudy, so you want to make it as clear as possible. So we're just gonna stir it a little bit longer. My workout today. Look at this. So the next step is to swish some water in a bowl and ladle the jelly into the bowl. That's supposed to make it easier for it to come out afterwards. Ah, here we go. And you can make it as, as thick as you want because later on you're going to be cutting it into strips or cubes. And it takes about four to five hours for it to cool. So I'm thinking of cutting it into strips. So I'm not going to make it into a full bowl. So it's going to look something like this. And I'm going to leave it on my counter for four to five hours 
and I might pop it into the fridge as well to speed up the cooling. So I'll see you in four to five hours. So this is about five hours later. This is ready and we're gonna pour it out and cut it into pieces for the salad. And my daughter has the cucumber here and she's gonna cut it into small pieces as well for the salad. So let's see what the salad's gonna look like. And we also have condiments that we're gonna use such as vinegar, soy sauce, sesame oil, and if you like spicy, I'm also gonna add some chili miso. And just for some extra crunchiness, I've got some roasted peanuts with salt. So we're gonna cut these and get them ready for our salad now. So this is what the jelly looks like from the bowl. And I'm just gonna cut it into cubes um, and put them into a salad. which is with some cucumbers. So my daughter can add some cucumbers into each of the bowls. And so that's going to add some of the freshness to the different salads. And so each bowls will get a bit. And then I'm going to make the dressing. So what I'll make is with a little bit of vinegar. And soy sauce. I kind of just add a little bit. There's like not really a lot of measurement. And then I'm going to add some sesame oil. Great. That's great. Each bowl has a little bit of cucumber and the cold jelly. So I'm going to mix, mix the dressing and pour. You want to put the dressing? Okay, not the whole thing, but maybe half. And I'm also going to put a little bit of peanuts into each of the bowls as well. These roasted peanuts will go really well with the salad as well. And this is a perfect dish to eat on a hot summer day. So my husband really likes spicy, so I'm going to add a little bit of spicy chili miso sauce for him. And that's it. So here we go. This is our cold jelly salad with cucumber and peanuts. And here's our cold jelly, cucumber, and peanut salad. Mmm, can't wait to try it. <laughs>